done with the living room makeover. Now I got some work to do in my house. Normally after a makeover or project, my house is a disaster. And while it's still not clean right now, and I have slacked a little bit during the makeover, it is definitely way cleaner than it would have been on a normal day. So I'm gonna spend the rest of this weekend resetting my home and starting here in the bedroom. This is the current state of my room. I would have liked to kept up with it way better than I did during this last project, but I will say this considering what it used to look like is pretty good for me and I wasn't as disappointed in myself as I would have been if it looked like this, which is what my room always looked like beforehand on a good day. This is not after a project, this is on a good day. So I'm pretty proud of myself that I didn't let it get to this point. Today I'm just focusing on getting my house back to square one. Not deep cleaned, not shiny, none of that. Just starting over, we're doing a complete reset so that I don't get behind this following week. Back up on the mistake I made was thinking you would have my back, but it's one way track. That's right, you know I've had enough. Your bad behavior is the what I'm worth. No, that's right. No, I've had enough. You don't see it, but I see it. I usually have Shane proof my videos and watch them over before I post them, but I'm doing this one because I don't want him catching me using his deodorant. <laughs> it was right there and I was like, oh, I forgot to top up on deodorant today. WWE <laughs> Superstar Shane The Rock. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> and now. You're supposed to be gentle with me. <laughs> and now, no, I'm going to suplex her. Shane, you're supposed to be gentle and chivalrous with your wife. Bro, and panties Not match. Let's go. <laughs> my bedroom so that I can move some stuff around. I'm gonna move the homeschool and stuff into our new storage area. I wanna do another pretty large book declutter. I got rid of uh, quite a bit, I think 15 or 16 books the last time I did one of these, but I'm gonna try to condense all my books onto one shelf. Cause I wanna fit all of it onto the bookshelf over there. So like this, I got halfway through it and I'm not digging it. If I wanna finish it, I literally got to page 132. If I'm gonna finish it, then I'll just pick up an audio book at the library or get it at the library, something like that. Y'all, I'm 30 something years old. A normal lifespan, I'm I'm pushing half of it, so we ain't wasting our time on books that we don't really like that much. I started this, I think I'm on like page 60, so. I'm just gonna go through and really critically think about what I wanna keep and what I don't care to get rid of. So this is a book declutter 2.0.
I didn't get rid of as many books as I did the first book declutter, but I did get rid of about a handful of books, so I'm really excited about that. It was enough so that I could compile all of my books onto one shelf. It's a little bit crowded, but I have it organized really well so that each shelf has its own genre. And then all of my series is going to be on the top shelf all together. I found this book from one of my friends. She's a bookstagrammer, and she posted this, and I thought the pages were so pretty. I love those spray-painted pages. I don't really even know what it's about. I kind of know what it's about because I haven't been just buying books but I don't really know a whole lot. I don't like to go into a book knowing exactly what it's about, or I just like to vaguely know what it's about. It gets me in trouble sometimes, but I like to be surprised. So I found that one via my friend on Instagram, and I had to get it because it was gorgeous. I usually don't buy any hard copies or like physical copies at all because I do a lot of my ebook reading on my phone, but if I do find a special edition of a book that I think I might like, or a special edition of a book that I already have, I may switch out that book with the special edition or just get the special edition of the book I've never read before, if it's pretty enough. I see you struggle Like butterflies in water Can't get moving forward I see your shoulders Weighted down by armor You don't need that protection I will walk on glass I will run 10,000 miles and more I will keep my eyes If you lost your sight I will run through fire I will carry you through the heat I will do So Marina wanted to move the bookcase with books on it. I politely told her it couldn't politely be done with that. I'm pretty sure you have it on footage. It was polite. I told her that it would break if she tried to move it with all that weight on it. And <laughs> Marina had a point to prove. <laughs> she had a point to prove and... Um, how do you even do this? I don't know, but my stubbornness just cost me a $50 bookcase. It's okay. I'm trying to get a patent to make sure that people start listening to Shane from now on. No blood pressure, though. <laughs> For anybody that you know, if you get these and you want to move it somewhere, take the books off before you move it. I think they know that. I'm pretty sure they know that. In my defense, in my defense that is a horrible angle. <laughs> In my defense, it is almost midnight on a Saturday. I don't want to do this no more. I'm over it. <laughs> Why did you start this late? <laughs> I did. I started early. It took me two days and hours to sort the books. <laughs> oh, I'm not leaving this face to work with. I can't even get on my bed because all books. <laughs> so moral of the story is your husband is right 1% of the time. Add um, two zeros to that and you got that right. <laughs> So he's moving the one that I didn't break over there. I gotta re put all my books up on that thing. And then I'm moving the treadmill in here and I'm calling it a night. I'll pick up where I left off tomorrow. But we mostly, for the most part, got the bedroom back to back to square one, which is good. It, it wasn't bad in the first place. Y'all saw the before pictures, but it just wasn't as tidy as I like for it to be these days. So I wanted to go in here before the night was over so I could sleep good and just tackle it because it didn't take that long. This part's taking long, but this was a bonus level I was doing. I had already defeated the boss fight and I just decided to do this bonus level. And this bonus level has lasted four daggone hours. I've had these for forever, so I figured it was time I finally used them. They're just fairy lights with an actual plug end side, because most fairy lights I find in the stores, they have the battery packs, but this one you can actually plug into the wall and I found them on Amazon. Ooh, she pretty, look. 
Oh, that is giving me so much serotonin. Sarah's in the house. Yay, it Sarah. was worth it. It was worth the four hours. <laughs> it was worth the four hours. It was worth the four the hours. Four hours in the broken bookcase. Oh, she pretty. Fairy century. Oh, Ooh. there we go. Ooh. Ooh. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Oh. Yeah. Dark Lord. Ooh. Felt like Sauron was up there in the red. Oh, that one's where it's at. Yeah. I like the purple. Yeah. Okay, that one's where it's at. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's so pretty. Uh, oh my gracious. I am going to get the, well, he. I ain't doing that. <laughs> to get the sheets on the bed. No and I'm way. going to, for like 30 minutes, because I need to get in bed soon, I'm going to like straight up read in bed with that going on in the background. With those beautiful lights on in the background. Pray, please. What? Please. Yeah, you can read anytime you want. No, you put the sheets on. I took them off. You put them on. Is that how it goes? Yeah. What's up, everybody in TV land? We're here with another grocery haul. Your week is not complete until you see Awesomely Created give a grocery haul. So, without further ado, let's get on it. We got us a big old thing of eggs here. A double pack with 36 count. We got us those... Beautiful golden cakes from heaven, along with a big old thing of Dr. Peppers and some food for the puppies. We always get uh, the two different kinds and we mix them. Uh, right here we've got two cantaloupes, along with some ultra thin salty pretzel sticks. Uh, right here we've got us a salad kit, a Caesar salad kit to be precise. We've got a big old bunch of bananas and some 2% milk. We've got some great value, semi-sweet chocolate chips that contains about two cups. The net weight is 12 ounces with 340 grams. Uh, no, we're not gonna go that slow. Anyway, uh, we've got us some strawberry fruit and grain cereal bars. These things are good. Like, these things are really good. There's another kind that I really like. They've got like the icing on them, but these things are super good. Uh, we've got... What are they? Oh, like little little uh, fruit cups for the kiddos, along with two loaves of bread. We're going to try something a little different this time. We got the uh, Kool-Aid jammers, which the kids love, but them things go get gone. They get gone fast. So Rena went and got six packs of Kool-Aid mix. We got cherry, tropical punch, two watermelons, and two black cherries. And we're going to see if that lasts longer. We've got two packs of this cheddar broccoli rice. I'm down for that. That stuff's good. We got us two bottles of the signature Italian uh, dressing, along with some Al Gratin. Uh, is that how you say it? Al Gratin or Al Gratin? I've never known how to actually say it, but we got a box of that. We got us a thing of cream cheese here. We got us some raspberries here, which Rena got me hooked on the last time we got these. These things are actually really good. Along with three packs of like these smaller little hams. That was kind of cool. Rena got those. <sighs> you know it. You love it. Hashtag Frozen Tater Nation. We got us some little mini cucumbers here, along with a little mini watermelon. Um, we got us some pa a pack of uh, corn here. Uh, Rena got this, what do, you, what do you call it, like a a, dis, a dispenser? Rena got a dispenser for, I think, for the Kool-Aid and all that. Plus two, we got this uh, pitcher for it. And then we got two packs of Pop-Tarts here. One is the strawberry, and then one is the brown sugar cinnamon. And that is it. I know that seems like really short, but this is really all we needed. We still got uh, plenty of other necessities in the fridge and everything. Uh, we're doing pretty good, I must say. I'm gonna turn it back over to my wife. See ya. I'm just making a place for my treadmill in my bedroom because for the longest time it's been in my kitchen in front of my windows and I hate walking on it in the evenings when Shane is in here usually playing his video games and winding down for the night. So I'm bringing it in here so I can be near him because I have separation anxiety. I love being around him. Like he is my favorite person on the planet and I don't get 
near as much as time as I want to spend with him. So being near him just just makes me feel better. So and also it was an eyesore in the <laughs> in the dining room. <laughs> it was also an eyesore. So I brought it in here and I think I'll like it better in here. I've liked it just fine in the kitchen too, but I didn't like what it looked like in the kitchen. I waited till I got into a routine to do this because I didn't want it to be out of sight, out of mind. Yeah. <laughs> What the fuck? What is it? That's a gigantic storm. Uh, Miss Mary's underpinning. I got her house pressure washed today. Yeah. Uh, her mom's looks really good. Well, <laughs> that came out of nowhere. <laughs> Big old tornado. Dang it. Good, Miss Tracy. What the heck? I know. I'm going to check and see if we're under any advisory. Hey, That's Jay, Jay. Wild. Come on. Don't do anything in my power yet. Don't do it. Don't do it. Whoa. Yeah. Ain't no, no need to put screws on that. Good. Oh, oh. please. Oh, I thought that. Oh my gosh! Y'all hear this? Kiddo! Kiddo! Well, everyone away from the windows. Get away from the windows. Yeah. That's hell hitting the window. They got the puppies coming with them. They got the puppies with them? She's not near any windows. Are you huddled over there? No. <laughs> Shelby said no. Shane's so smart. Okay, show him. Okay, so we'll put it right here. It's not in the way of anything. Come in, you ready to treadmill it up? You hit your button. Hydraulics will let it down. Might take it a minute or two. By that point, my mind's changed and I don't want to do that. <laughs> I mean, obviously it's not aesthetically pleasing, but it looks okay. Weirdest thunder I've ever heard. Look at my porch. Oh my gosh. I can't tell you guys how much y'all made me giggle when I went to the P.O. box and I saw I had so many pictures in the P.O. box. I just, it made me so thankful for you guys. Even my friend Stephanie sent me a picture. She said, Marina, as soon as I saw you making tea in a bowl, I sent you a picture. <laughs> Which it works out though because I'm not buying Kool-Aid jammers now to save money. They go through them so fast and it's way more expensive to do it that way. <laughs> Every time I bring it, I smell cherry. <laughs> How's that work? Life has a way of just blowing my mind every day. So I'm making our own Kool-Aid and none of my kids like the same flavor. So I'm going to be doing different flavors for different pictures. Go figure though. After I mentioned not having a picture and using the bowl in that video, I remembered to order me one. So I have the one that I ordered too. <laughs>
I'm tackling the dishes and starting here in the kitchen after the bedroom's done. I'm getting it just tidied up in the middle of doing dinner and all the things. One thing I used to be always behind on is my laundry, especially after a project or a makeover. It would be absolutely horrible, but I only have not even a load of laundry <laughs> after that project. And that project took a while. The storage in the living room, it took a while. So to have less than a load of laundry is a huge milestone for me. I pat myself on the back for that. All right, you wanna have a dinner? One dinner, <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we can do with this. Hmm. So we're just going to slice it like this. You want to slice it? You see how I'm doing it? Good. Okay, let's work together. Good. Let's do it. Let's bring it in a little bit closer. Good. Good. Yeah. I'm going to drizzle just a little bit of olive oil. That's all I have left. Cook it on medium-ish and let it brown up real good. Look how big this onion is. Clear. Yeah, that's a whole butt cheek. Go baptize these taters. Tater. Did you baptize them in Jesus' name? Yes. You make it. Uh, I'm going to do that with your arm now. Hey, I'm helping mom and make you dinner. Are you helping mom and make you dinner? quickly doing the dinner dishes and then I'm gonna jump right back on to reset in my home. There ain't no way through but through so we're going to tackle the daily stuff as well as getting it back into tip-top shape so that I don't have to chase my tail this week.
your father's goodbye Guess I didn't fit in that frame of your life But I love that you find all that love in your kids and your wife Now you're playing with the big boys And I got some big toys Making all your girls spoil Daddy's got it all sold I was never your choice But I hope you're happy I hope you are happy Now you're playing with the big boys And I got some big toys Making all your girls spoil Daddy's got it all sold I was never your choice But I hope you're happy I hope you are happy This is not my first song about you Crazy how I'm still thinking about you This is not my first song about you About you, about you ooh, ooh. I feel like I'm still the same How about you? And what if we ever meet in our kids' school And you say you've been thinking of me too ooh, ooh, ooh. Now you're playing several different things in this built-in i absolutely love the storage that this built-in has given me so i'm going to designate each cabinet for something in particular this cabinet we're designating for the homeschool the middle smaller cabinet we're doing my books like my jesus books and self-help books and stuff like that and in the left cabinet we're doing all the shoes and basically like on the go things you're in love with me it's obvious we are that Good to be honest Can't you admit that you want this Everybody knows it except for you When you're lying there on your deathbed You will regret you kept quiet Also not telling me straight up gonna be you gotta give me something what's it gonna be are we gonna do this or not i really need to know if you're in or out you don't have to say the words just look in my eyes tell me friend oh can't you see what you mean to me carpet cleaned my rug but it is still looking so dingy i feel like i go through rugs more than i go through underwear a lot of it has to do with the dogs but it's also shoes on the carpet i'm trying to get my family in the routine of not wearing shoes in the house but we see how that how well that's going <laughs> but that definitely has a lot to do with how dingy the carpet looks y'all this has added so much storage space check this out so this is our homeschool cabinet 
This has all of my planners, all of my teacher stuff, mom stuff, menu stuff, daily stuff, weekly list, all that stuff right there. As well as my open planners down here. We got some erasers, some glue sticks, some odds and ends like paper clips, push pins, scissors, stuff like that. Markers, extra pencils, pencils, extra pencil holder, hole puncher, a uh, crap ton of rulers, and a pencil sharpener. One lone pencil sharpener. <laughs> right here's our extra paces. We do the ace paces for homeschooling, so we have a lot of those always. So it's, it was crucial for me to have somewhere to put those that we could keep them all together and keep them by number. This is our morning basket. We use this every single morning throughout the week. And then this is extra stuff that I want to introduce later at some other time, but I don't have room for it in our unit studies right now, as well as their records and stuff. Extra construction paper back there. This is going to be my homemaking binder whenever I make it. I'm really excited about that. I've been wanting to do that for forever. I found that Dollar Tree for like three or five bucks. I think three. <laughs> Surely I did not pay five bucks for that. I think three. But I'm really excited to make that my homemaking binder. But this is what the homeschooling cabinet looks like. Underneath the window seat here, we've got all of my Bible study journals, my Bibles, my Jesus books, my devotionals. And my Bible journaling pens that I use. I also have my Bible journaling highlighters and uh, commentaries. My main commentaries aren't in here though that I go to every single day. They're on Shane's desk. But these are just little devotionals. Pens I use to journal and write in the Bible and stuff. And then extra Christian-y stuff. I'm glad to finally have somewhere for that stuff. And this one we have Kimmy's emergency bag. Um, we carry this around with us everywhere. It has things to get his attention. Levels 1 through 3. It's like his special stuff. So whenever he's over a, a situation or done with it, we have that for a backup. And then this is our shoes. It's not Pinteresty. It's not aesthetic-y. But it's functional. And that's what I'm shooting for these days. If you've been here for a while, you know how dire the shoe situation was. And they used to just be piled up next to the front door. Then they got moved to the kids' rooms. Then they got moved to the closets. Then they got moved to under the bed. It was just wild. So I'm so thankful to finally have somewhere to put the shoes. I don't quite know what will be back there yet, but I'm sure we'll find something. Another thing about these is we do have outlets in the back of these. So if we needed to use it to plug it in, which I highly doubt we're gonna, we're gonna use any of the outlets in, in these cabinets to plug anything in. But if we do absolutely need something, we can always move the stuff over and just plug it in if we need to. But we have a plug-in all the way down there that we left open and not in a cabinet that we can easily get to and it won't be coming out of the cabinet door. So that's probably what we'll be using on this side of the wall. And then in this basket, the dogs, harnesses, and their leashes. And I don't have anything in this one yet. If you guys have any ideas on what I could store down here, I've been trying to think. At first, I was originally going to do like keys and stuff like that right here. But Shane likes keeping those in our bedroom. So... I, instead I did the dog stuff up here because I was going to do keys up here and then dog stuff down here. So now this one's open and I don't really know what to do with it. The top of it is clear though like I'm locking it except for my phone right here which I'm about to grab. <laughs> that storage space man is it pretty? Absolutely. But let me tell you something. I'm almost more ecstatic over the storage and how functional it is. We needed that extra storage so bad. It feels so good to have it. Closed storage at that too. Thank y'all for hanging out with me. I hope y'all have a blessed morning even tonight. Whatever it is wherever you're at know that I love you but Jesus loves you more. I'll see y'all later. <laughs>